rather than just take off and walk at a fast clip, yes. Right. Now, how old are you now? Well, I'm 76. Randy Tardy is typical of a growing population of elderly people who could someday benefit from a drug that offers the same advantage as exercise does. Parts of my body, and particularly my muscles, were not what they were 10 years ago, 20 years ago, mm. or when I was a teenager. And I realized that uh, all of a sudden, uh, I couldn't do some things as easily as I could uh, when I was much younger. A lot of people, even when they're young, don't exercise, and it's even harder as you get older to develop that habit. Even elderly people who do exercise are vulnerable to muscle loss. In some older people, there are bouts of illness or depression that cause uh, almost a catastrophic decrease in muscle function, such as hospitalization. And, and so oftentimes we see someone who is fully functional go into a hospital, and five or six days later they come out of the hospital hardly able to walk. And this tells us what her lean body mass is. Bill Evans' lab here. was the first to publish a study on the effects right of enforced bed rest in right. older people. So to take part in the experiment, you have to be at least 60 and be willing to stay in bed for 10 days straight. They do not want you sitting up. They give you two pillows. You can have two pillows and that is it. Patricia Toy had been in bed for nine days and had 24 hours to go when we met her. Just laying here and you realize you're not getting up, you're not exercising, and I'm thinking, what's this gonna do to me at the end of my 10 days? Am I going to still, will I be able to get back to the way I was at my age. What we see is that 10 days of bed rest is equivalent to about 15 years of aging. Uh, she's losing a lot of muscle. She loses about a kilogram, more than two pounds of muscle, just from her legs. Patricia Toy was also losing something at a microscopic level inside her muscles. She showed very low levels of mitochondria, the tiny structures within cells that produce energy. No exercise for 10 days had caused her mitochondria count to plummet. Could a drug reverse the effect? In laboratory mice kept inactive, a drug called ICAR is producing striking results. This is the animal that didn't have any of the drug. This is the animal that didn't have any drug. And this is the transformation that occurs simply injecting a drug uh, once a day for a month is able to transform muscle into this type of muscle that looks as if it's been exercised that whole time. This looks like the muscle of an athlete. A pill that could give us more energy and transform our muscles may be closer than we think. It's not approved yet, you can't prescribe it, but it's moving in that direction. And that creates some real hope that uh, this can turn into a, a actual human study. So do you think there will ever be a day when drugs replace exercise altogether? I certainly hope not. I, I don't think that it will. I think the effects of exercise are nothing short of amazing. What the hope is, is that someone who is old can use a drug to help them become more active.